Today's the day, Paul. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you mean the uh, Mint Mobile uh, Unlimited plan? I know. No, it's actually, big. today's the day that I'm going to go to Taco Bell, I think. Oh. Some... <laughs> I know. Because the only thing better than uh, playing an Xbox is winning one. And... <laughs> winning an Xbox uh, Series X would be pretty sweet. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> There's really no other way to describe it that would actually be um, fantastic. Mm -hmm. So... When does that start? I like that Microsoft is uh, promoting gambling and also uh, sugary uh, <laughs> soda drinks. So it's good. Yeah, just, you know, we're all going to go down in a blaze of fire. Anyways, after 2020, I don't think that's going to be such a bad thing. Um, <laughs> 2020 is the blaze of fire, I think. <laughs> after this, it's just the smoldering. Yeah, so for I think this is the fourth year in a row or something like that. Microsoft has done this. They've done it, I know, with, a, I think, the last Xbox launch or whatever for quite a few of them that if you go to Taco Apparently, Bell. Apparently, the original Xbox launch with Taco Bell. Yeah, I, I thought they I, did. And then, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so you can go to Taco was, Bell and what, buy a yeah. drink, and then you get a little scratch and sniff sticker, you put that yep. code online, and then it's at every 15 Someone's minutes. Someone's going to win every yeah. 15 minutes. So mm -hmm. don't go today. I think it starts it, yeah. the 13th or the 15th or something. So. Go. go ahead. They don't normally go to Taco Bell, but you know, if you like uh, that kind of thing, if you need a, if you need, you need a soda, <laughs> if you need a soda, nobody needs a soda. So no, nobody they have does. Iced tea but... or something Unfl unsweetened iced tea. Maybe maybe the Baja Blast, but that's still <laughs> probably <laughs> so it's some kind of a food item that is made of Doritos and meat. <laughs> Now you're speaking my language. That, I'm that's, just saying they have that. If mean, you like that kind of thing, I think every menu item they have was uh, created in a dorm room at some point. Yes, <laughs> right. right. Someone kicks in the door at three o'clock in the morning. Guys, we're from Taco Bell. What are you in the mood for? <laughs> Put that down. We need to investigate what you're it's eating. Market research. Put down the bong. Just opening microwaves. Like, what do you got in here? Like, what's <laughs> this is why we can't have colleges here, folks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's why Taco Bell's struggling right now, and they're doing this promotion. They can't, they can't do their research because <laughs> the dorm back rooms. The school market is huge for them. <laughs> is something really going on today, though? Uh, yeah, I mean, so but this thing finally can can open. Can it you up. open it up and show the world what's inside? Yeah, this way, oh, it's a crappy version of Android. Oh, wow, look at that! Didn't, you can. It's supposed to yeah, be on both it's displays. Great. It's kind of, yeah. there, we, there we go. That's kind of the theme. Oh, there it is. Yeah. That's kind of the theme the of the thing. I like, spent 1300 bucks on it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, Brad, this is all you today. Well, yeah. If you, to yeah, there's a there's a post on Thread. You can go watch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that'll tell you. Tell us. Tell us. So, the really short version of this is, um, if you want a thing that will fit in your pocket, <laughs> that is really good at Microsoft-specific apps. All right. It's a I'm lot gonna, of sorry. Fun. I wasn't going to interrupt. I demand now that you stand up and put that thing in your pocket. Um, it, I mean, it fits. Like it, now, mm -hmm. if you're wearing skinny jeans, it's not going to fit. But if you were wearing like <laughs> normal jeans, it, it's going to fit. Now, I'm not telling you it fits and feels like fabulous. It's large. Like there, there's no denying it. Um, to me, they should have called this thing the Surface PDA. That that is an appropriate yeah. description of what this device is. It's right. uh, if you if you have. I gave him right this quite literally in my review. If you have, if you are holding two devices in your hand and you're at the store and you have an iPhone and this thing in your hand, take the iPhone because you're not you're not the right user for this device. Um, you have to be buying this, in my opinion, for explicitly for productivity needs. And if that is what you're buying it for, it's a great device. But don't buy it for the camera. Don't buy it for the battery life. So what does that mean? Uh, what is a what is a productivity like? What are the where where does this thing make sense? So this thing makes a lot of sense if mm -hmm. think of it as like the BlackBerry from the companies used to issue. Yep, that is pretty smart. That, that that is the market, at least in my opinion, for this thing um, because it's fourteen hundred bucks. If this was like six hundred, be like yeah, everyone should go buy this, but it's not. You could. You're not going to be happy sitting on the couch scrolling Twitter or reading Reddit on this thing. It's not designed for that. Yeah, this um, isn't Microsoft's fault, but it, obviously, it's unfortunate for Microsoft that the pandemic happened. But yeah. I, I mean, it's unha unfortunate for all of us. But this device probably would have made more sense. Do you think if you were traveling and or commuting yeah. to work every day or the, that kind of thing? The other thing that it's missing that I hope will come to that we, as soon as I say this, you're gonna be like, ah, oh, yeah, that would be is a continuum experience. Right. That is 
Now you can, in theory, I could mirror cast this or Chromecast this, whatever this TV, I could log into Windows Virtual Desktop and I could run it all from here, but that is that is a hamstrung together solution, unlike Samsung yeah. DeX, where you just plug it in and then it, it's just yeah. there. Yeah. Um, that's some, that's on Google. That's something yeah, that yeah. should occur. I yeah. But from a like a hardware perspective, though, like this thing feels like a yeah. jewel. Like it, it is. It, Microsoft did not just grab stuff off the shelf, minus the Snapdragon eight fifty five. Um, <laughs> minus stuff that they did, yeah, yeah. Um, but like it is, <laughs> yeah, exceptionally well built. Like it, it right, it's nice. heavy. It, it's nice. It, it's mm -hmm. a luxury style item for a very yeah. specific demographic. I can also say this: if you have a, if you used a Lumia. This, you'll like this device. I mean, you're already kind of accustomed to working with what you have, not what's available, if that makes sense. If you're um, using a Lumia, you might have you, brain damage, by the way. But <laughs> still using some, I, I, I'm just saying, I don't know for sure, but I would look into it. Um, the, the camera on this thing is remarkably average. Like, they couldn't have yeah. done a better job of just finding something that was like, eh. Like, the portrait mode is a disaster. Do not. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I posted I'm a picture of it on. It has portrait mode, honestly. Um, it has all the modes, like it has panorama, yeah. and ha but it's an right. awkward, so it's an awkward mm. experience because you right, you open it up and you're like, oh, I want to take a picture of that camera. Well, then you have to right. go like this, then you have to go like this. And then you're, you feel like you're taking a picture with a tablet, uh, yeah. which is never a great thing. Uh, it's, yeah. it's interesting. It, it, like it's one of those things like you like to use, but it's not something you're going to use all so let me ask time. you a question because I this is this is a theory that I have because I haven't used that device nor have I used a Samsung uh, Fold of any kind. But mm -hmm. imagine that that thing closed was more smartphone sized. It would obviously be a little bit thicker, but there was a yeah. screen on the outside, right? Yeah. So that when you folded that thing shut because you wanted to take that picture, you would just have a normal smartphone. Mm -hmm. and there would be a phone. There would be a camera on the outside, and it would just work normally. Like yep. that would be better, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, so I wonder if Microsoft, first of all, uh, you know, improving the cameras is an obvious thing for version two, but, you know, maybe going in a more uh, more of the di Samsung direction where, I guess in this case it would have three screens, you know, which is kind of mm -hmm. weird, but um, making it something that was smaller uh, folded where it would really fit in every pocket and you wouldn't have to worry about it isn't maybe a, an interesting direction for them to go, like a smaller demo. Yeah, if that I mean, sense. it's... I understand like why they made the decisions, but it, it's it, Microsoft very clearly told me like we designed this thing to be a two handed device and it is absolutely that way. Like it, it's yeah. well, you can yeah. go like this. Like I have pretty big hands and like I can't even reach the oh, yeah, camera. No, it's very wide. Yep. Like yep. It, it's it's a neat device is what I keep coming back to. And there, it's fun to use, but it's mm -hmm. like people are going to go out there and just buy this thing and be like, oh, this isn't for me because it's not. It, it, it's a yeah. very. So it's not literally a phone. It, it, I mean, you can like it. It has an AT and T. This has an AT and T yeah, no, sim on it connected I mean, to it. Not, but yeah. that's why that's why I call it a Surface PDA because if you come at it from a PDA like 2008 yeah. perspective, it makes a lot of sense and it works really well. Actually, Paul, my entire review, 2,000 ish words or so, I wrote on this thing. Like I literally really? wrote the entire review. You wrote it on the screen on the duo. itself. Yeah. Wow. Uh, which is so why what's the what's the experience like with the you know when it's open all the way? It's like a mini tablet, I guess. Yeah. And did you find the uh, that like if you have a single screen experience like going across, like mm -hmm. I, I feel like it would be kind of awkward watching a movie with a, a line in the middle. Oh yeah, you don't want to watch um, a movie. Like it's it doesn't make sense because because yeah. you're right because there's that yeah. line in the middle. Like, let's see if I can open like Instagram. It shows it pretty. Okay, so Instagram. Uh, well, like even like. Well, no, that way that way is fine. I'm, see, I'm like this way, but like, what you get is like that that bar in the middle. Yeah, um, Instagram, I don't even think yeah. accepts the rotation, so it's like yeah, this is what you get. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's okay. Honestly, that's okay. I it's mean, it's okay. That, it, again, yeah, yeah. It's not. I, I'm not like trying to trash it. I'm just trying to be realistic that if someone buys yeah. this thing and thinks it's going to be like the holy grail of like mobile experiences, <laughs> it's not. That, right. The software needs some refinement too. There's little things like, for example. So there's, you can open two apps at once, right? That, I think they showed that off. Like there's Twitter and Reddit and they both fire at the same time. It's great, whatever. You mm -hmm. can't set it up for Teams or Outlook to click it and have it open and spanned. It has to be mm -hmm. on one display. Yeah. Which it's little things like that. And yeah, those apps should support that because you could, there are two different views that you might want to have in each of those apps. Right. Like you can. Video call in the chat stream or whatever. Right. Like Teams on here is actually pretty great. I did some calls this week with it. 
Mm-hmm. Um, because what it does is like you have your like the faces on this oh, side. Okay. And yeah, that's chat, what I'm talking. And, like, yeah, that's fine. That's good. Yeah, that's good. And same with email. Same with uh, like PowerPoint. Like there's a lot of good use cases scenario, but they're all very much productivity related. Uh, yeah, but, and those are apps that Microsoft controls and can tailor to that experience, which is smart. Yeah. On that same vein, Edge, for example, doesn't really like it supports. Yeah. Like it just spans. What would be really nice is if you could have two instances of Edge open or two tabs, like two web pages on both screens. So can't, can't do that. I have to think that's coming, right? I mean, they'll do that. You would think, yeah, I, but I, I mean, um, I you don't. I don't know how much of that is as Google related because they might not yeah. allow currently two instances of the same app open. And mm-hmm. so then, can they figure out how to do it in that what they call it enlightened or like expand experience? <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. Oh boy, Microsoft. Okay. So it's on sale today. 1400 bucks is the entry point uh, only in the US right now. And so we'll yeah. see where else it goes. It does support like the Surface Pen input does work. Um, mm-hmm. there, obviously you can't dock it and it's not really intended to yeah. be like magnetized to it. Did you check if it had any kind of magnet thing going on? It does, but it wasn't built that way. Like there's just magnets in here to keep it kind of closed. Okay, so they happen to, you, and it if just, you're lucky, it will stick to it. <laughs> It yeah, works yeah. really well with like the Surface Pro X pen because it's mm-hmm. got that flat side to mm-hmm. it. It'll pop right to it, no problem. Yeah, um, that's cool. And so battery life is okay. Like it'll get you through a day, but you're not going to set any sort of like records here for how long you can stay unplugged. And um, What about the um, the Microsoft version of Android? What do you do think of that? I mean, I know you don't use Android every day, but to me it looks kind of flat and bland. But It's fine. I, you know, there's a lot of the, the OS just kind of needs some, you can tell Oof. what it feels like is that they took a single screen to OS and they adapted it for dual screens. They didn't take oh, an no. OS. Right, right, right. They, they designed us from the ground up. That's yeah. crazy. And it shows. <laughs> and so you got to wait. It's already gotten one software update, which has mm-hmm. helped things quite a bit. Um, it needs just some more spit and polish across the entire OS to make it feel a little bit better. And it really really could benefit from a Snapdragon probably 865 or even what's coming next. Because you got to remember that oh, really? 8, 855 was primarily yeah. designed for a device with one screen. Well, now you're powering twice the displays, twice the pixels. And there's animations that will kind of like... So like this experience is really smooth, just really mm-hmm. well done. Like you can tell like they've spent a lot yeah, of time yeah, like optimizing nice. it. Yeah. Yep. Um, but when you're bouncing between apps, sometimes it, it there's like a frame mm-hmm. rate drop and you can... Right. Yeah. It's just not polished from a, a total os experience so that might be just it's easier for them to control the ui and maybe those apps having no knowledge of such a thing just don't work as well in that scenario you know yeah and then any third-party app is not going to take advantage of dual display yeah. so you can just kind of write that off um x cloud by the way or cloud gaming i'm gonna mm-hmm. have a post on throughout here i hope today i wanted to have it done by now but i was up too late late to last night um sure. is not good Oh, really? Why? It doesn't it doesn't take advantage of the dual displays. Like it's just like Yeah. I mean, do you feel like if you had a uh controls in the bottom display and the game in the upper display, would that make any sense? I think it would make it it would at least be something. <laughs> like that yeah. doesn't you, you so can't. What does do it do that. now? It just goes in one screen and there's nothing in the other screen? Or, yeah. I mean then so you, or you, you would can... just fold it back basically and use it as a single screen. Yes. Nice, yeah. Have you so, tried to connect it in that uh, way to a like a clip or anything uh, i haven't tried the clip it doesn't work with the razor device um all that well like and by all that well i don't think at all um so i'll I, i'm gonna try the clip here later today and i'll try to make something out of that so that people understand that you shouldn't buy this thing because yeah. what, what what it could be is like right as a nintendo 3ds right you have your just dis- yeah. yeah that's what i mean yeah, yeah like and, and if controls right. down here and the game up there it, you, you can't so you need if you could remote some of the on screen stuff to the bottom screen that and it doesn't block the display you know yeah they, there's a lot of things that could be done and mm-hmm. um i think if they keep going at it there's it's going to just keep getting better but if they could i i've contemplated like hey if this thing both screen was like in a 16 by 9 when it was in this orientation would that be better it might be i don't know I, yeah, I, I think the, this, yeah, I mean, I, I, this doesn't change. I mean, I don't have one, but it seems to me like if this thing closed was more of a normal phone aspect ratio, you'd still yeah. get the fit when you open the thing up. Um, 
Yeah, I don't know. It's too, oh, well, whatever. You know, whatever. You'll, uh, we'll see how they uh, they Microsoft seems to like these kind of squarish. Yeah, they do. I mean, that's their thing. I that's do. their kind of style, right? The other, I'll, I'll leave on two. One hilarious note that'll be the last thing, and one just sort of thinking about it. You know, would be interesting here is so the hinges are right are up here and down here is if they put a true hinge, just one in the middle that allowed it to spin and rotate. Oh. That's yeah. interesting. I'm sure they contemplated that and they probably said, ah, we don't want a hole right in the middle of the display. That's, That's probably not as good. Single screen on the outside. Oh no, wait, you could, yeah, you'd have a single screen on the outside potentially. Yeah. Right. Right. Yep. No, that would make sense. That seems, I mean, a, a huge point of failure, but yeah. And then the the other hilarious thing here, which uh, everybody who buys this device will do, and I've confirmed, <laughs> I think that everybody who owns or had one of these devices has done. So, Paul, have you ever used the LED as a flashlight on your phone? Mm -hmm. Well, on the Duo, when you turn it on, it blasts you in the eye. <laughs> what? If, why, what? Because it's on the front. Right. So, in other words, when so you if pull you down don't. The if you don't launch it when it's in this orientation, like if you're just looking at it and you're like, okay, here, uh, you know, it's dark in here. I need to turn on the light and you're just looking at it and you're like, okay, let's just turn on the light. Like it's right in your face. By the way, you'll see in the video that that lit up a Corona. It was like five or six inches. Big. Yeah. So That's it's funny. like late at night one night. I'm like, oh, let's just turn on the light. I need to like find, I couldn't find and like just bam. And then you're like, say, oh yeah, I don't, I don't see this. I don't think on any Android device. But one of the neat things about iOS, if you've never done this, is from that quick access panel, whatever mm -hmm. it's called, you can hold your finger down on the flashlight and you get a gradient. Yeah, where you determine the brightness, because mm -hmm. oftentimes when you're in a restaurant, which you know we don't do, but uh, you just need a little bit of light. You don't want to blow the whole place out like that thing. That looks like a like a a lighthouse uh, on a it's dark bright. and storm night. You know. And That's I guarantee everyone who buys this will do it at least once because you just you're ingrained like okay I'm just gonna turn this thing on and then walk around and then you forget and then it's you're not seeing anything, right? So what is the but what's the market here like what do you like? I, I I mean we sort of say like if you're looking for productivity experiences on the go like what is who are these people? So if you have an iPhone this is I don't think this is for you because aside from the iMessage and all you know getting out of the app. Apple ecosystem one, there's a pretty steep learning curve to this thing. It took me a couple of days just to get used to uh, yeah. navigating. Like I would, it sounds weird, but like you get lost in the UI and, yeah. and yeah. part of that is because I was trying to use iOS gestures on Android. So that's not great. And then once you yeah, get but, used I to mean, it, you would overcome that, right? I mean, yes. just from familiarity. Yep. So the market is somebody who wants a productivity fo focused device that fits in their pocket. I mean, that's, that's where this thing wins. And yeah. You know, don't it seems like buy a small for... market, and unfortunately, like I said, the COVID thing hasn't helped because right. we're all stuck at home. And if you're at home, I mean, just use a laptop. You don't, you know, you don't have to worry about carrying it around. That's the thing is. So then it's you up, could look at it time. from like a fourteen hundred dollar laptop, like even a Surface laptop is a pretty good laptop. Like that's not yeah. you're not or that rumor they had about the twelve point five inch Surface laptop, five to six hundred dollars. I mean. Yeah, you know, <laughs> which I think is real, by the way, and so I've got some more info on it. I just oh, good, okay, but not a ton more, but it's it's absolutely real and, and coming. Nice. So. Yep, there we go. Well, you guys can check out the review on uh, the Threat or the Petri, or just watch us laugh on <laughs> Twitter, or follow us on the. In I don't. What am I saying? Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that was a flub of an outro. Hey,